Hello, happy people on a Tuesday. Hello. I'm Maria Furlano. Good to see you all. I, I made a, a live on Instagram that was supposed to pop over to Facebook too, but it didn't pop over, so I'm doing it again. <laughs> and it's a live topic, and I'm, I'm wanting to do more weekly live topics with all of you. So this week, the live topic is about balance, and is balance really necessary? I also did a podcast episode on this, episode 45, on the Art of Tuning In podcast. You can listen you know, more in depth there. But I brought this topic up because I've, I've been hearing, it's not new, I've, I've heard it the last couple years, but some popular people will say you know, that they don't believe in balance. And I, I find it funny and interesting and kind of wondering where that's really coming from because for myself as a you know a, t a master teacher and a physician of Chinese medicine and uh, someone who specializes in medical qigong which is all about energetic balancing and restoring what I find is funny is that balance is simply putting back what we've given out. It's really simple. It's not about living a perfect life or a perfect lifestyle. It's not about doing you know, the exact same things every day. It's not about uh, self-indulgence. You know, it's, it's about respect for yourself. What you put out is what you put back in. I work with a, a lot of healers and body workers and intuitives and, and you know, we give and we give and we give the energy and that energy has to be restored and that's all the balance is you know in the eastern medicine we have the yin and the yang that's a form of mutual interdependence of balance so i i found it you know interesting the people who say they don't believe in balance and i'm thinking that maybe what they're really uh going for there is that they they don't believe in a perfect lifestyle where everything fits in and that's but that's not what balance is it's really just about restoring what you've put out and there's one other thing that I wanted to just mention because I would love to hear from you in the comments what you do to restore your energy and what you like to do and if you found things that work for you especially on a regular basis because generally when I work with people privately as I'm sure if you're all healers and intuitives and body workers, you will find this a lot as well, that people will come to us when they are completely depleted, when they're done, <laughs> when they're, they've, they've overspent and now they're trying to do things to get it back. And of course, we don't wanna wait that long. So I would love to know if you do things for yourself on a daily basis, a regular basis, that, that really help understand that restorative quality. And I had a private client several years ago who, uh, this, what she shared with me really stuck with me because I, I got it and I, I think a lot of people think this way and I know for myself I also had thought this way but that um, for her restorative work was lazy. She was taught that anything she did for herself it was lazy, it, it wasn't you know productive and she was very, you know, business-wise successful. She was a very positive person. She had a lot of energy, but again, by the time she came to me, she was starting to develop health issues and she didn't have that same energy. So when I, we talked about, you know, balance, what did that mean for her? She really didn't quite understand the concept. She said, I work out a lot and, um, I've been really tired lately and I just kind of keep pushing myself harder thinking, you know, I'm just out of shape and, you know, so again, it's that outputting of energy, right? Exercising is great for us, but if we're depleted in energy, 
the kind of exercise that we're going to do makes a huge difference in how we replenish our health. So she's outputting and outputting and outputting and she's really, really good at that, but not so good at receiving. So a key here that I think, you know, I know for myself, I had to learn how to really receive. And balance is part of that. It's that nourishing to be able to give. So that's the topic for this week. How do we nourish ourselves? How do, what do we think about it? Because we might have to, you know, rechange our programming if we do think that nourishment and taking time and restoring ourselves, which generally is, you know, time with ourselves, it's quiet, it's nature, it's it's doing restorative exercises, maybe doing art, you know, all of these wonderful things. Uh, you know, if we do have any issue with that about it being lazy or not being important, we might have to reprogram some of our thoughts for that. But it's so worth it when we're able to do the, the balancing, the give and the take. So I do believe in balance. I believe that balance is necessary and that it really creates a life that is really full but I also completely understand about the laziness and especially how our culture can make people feel if they're not just outputting outputting so just remember balance output input yin yang working together so if you give and give and give that's awesome but you also have to receive and receive and receive all right. So think about that. Let me know your comments. What do you do? What do you do for yourself? Let's all share with each other because it helps me and it helps everybody. All righty. Thanks so much for being here today. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye.